To analyze our cash flows in SAP s using Fiori, we can utilize the so-called Cash Flow Analyzer application. So we click on this application and here you can see the start screen. Now before I explain you all the details about this application, let's actually click here on our user icon and here you can see a button called User Settings. For this application we can actually set how the currency should be derived. So whether the currency being displayed should be based on the transaction currency, converted to the account currency or based on the local currency. And we can also say that the data should be displayed for the calendar with or without a shift of working days. Okay, so far so good. Let's click on cancel for now and let's focus here on our filter section. So first of all, we can choose the company code or even company codes. Then we have here a filter called time period. So D7 in this instance stands for seven days. What we can also do is we can combine this time period. For instance, we could say seven days, two months, one year, like that. And you will see this in a second. Then you can see here we have the date. So meaning that in this case here, the date is the 21st of June. So the data will be displayed for the 21st of June up until the 27th of June. So seven days and then two months from this date and also one year from this date. We could restrict for bank accounts, but for now we will leave it as is. And then we have the so-called reconciliation status. So right now two of those four available reconciliation statuses are selected, meaning that we can filter our forecasted cash flows and also the intraday bank statement flows according to their reconciliation status. For now we will leave it as is. Then we have the date indicator. So either the value date or the posting date will be considered for our actual output. And we have here the display currency. Let me just change it to Euro. Then we can hit on go. Now we can see here our cash flows are being displayed. What we could do right now is we can click here on this icon to scroll down and navigate into the data. And here you can see now for the bank account 1133698, there is actually a credit balance of 5 million. And here in the flow direction, you can see this is the opening balance. It's zero, of course. And then there are the movements. So our cash outflows as well as our cash inflows. And if we scroll down at the end, we have the closing balance. Then you can see here something called the planning level. So those planning levels here are defined in our general ledger accounts. Let me actually show this to you by going to the manage GL account master data application. Chart of accounts is YCOA, our GL account. Then hit on go. Let's navigate into this account. This is the actual GL account behind the bank account we have seen a second ago. And over here, if we go to the company code data, and go into this company code data, then we can see here under the create bank interest tab that there is this planning level assigned. So let's actually quickly go into the change mode, edit and go back into the company code view here in the create bank interest section. If we select here the search help, then you can see all those different planning levels that are also being displayed in the cash flow analyzer application. So for instance here, B1 for outgoing checks, B2 for outgoing bank transfer and so on. If we go back to the cash flow analyzer application, then you can see here B2 as well and so on and so forth. So this is defined in your GL account master. Okay, then of course, as always, if something is being displayed in blue, this means we can actually click on it. So for instance, if we want to know the cash outflows here for B2, then we click on this one and then we can click on display cash flow items. This will forward us to all the cash flows that make up those 841,000 euro. And here you can see the source, the company code, as well as the value date and many more information. You can even navigate into those, which will forward you to the check cash flow item application, where we can even see the document that made up, in this case, those 5,000 euro cash outflow. We can click on this one and then we can check here the item. Okay, let's go back again. Next off, as I told you, the data is being displayed here for the 21st as well as up until the 27th. Also, you can see the data is being forecasted for July already and the data is being forecasted for August. This is because we set here two months. And also in the future columns, this means the data is being forecasted for one year as well. Okay, so far so good. Furthermore, you can see here, we can click on display hierarchy and we can display the data according to a certain hierarchy. For instance, by the bank account hierarchy. Then I would select this button, choose here the search help and select the bank hierarchy. Then hit on OK. And now you can see the data is being displayed according to the bank hierarchy. This bank hierarchy can be managed via the application called 
Manage Bank Account Hierarchies. This one over here. Okay, then there's another button called Switch Views. So here we can switch between the Balance View and the Delta View. Let's hit on the other one. Click on OK. And now only the net cash flows are being displayed. You can even read more about the switch views via this button over here. And then just toggle over the question mark. And here you can see what the balance view is. So in this case, the balance view shows the opening balance and also the cash flows, as well as the closing balance. And here you can see even the overview where our opening balance has an amount of zero. This is what we have seen before. Then we have the cash flows. So the accumulated inflows and outflows, and also the closing balance, which is made up of our inflows subtracted by the outflows. And in the Delta view, here you can see the difference is that only the net amounts are being displayed. Okay, so far so good. There are two other buttons. Here we can switch to the next or previous time period. So let's select this one. Then you can see the system jumps ahead. Let's scroll to the left actually. Now the data is being displayed one year from now already. If we hit on back, then it's again back to the status we initially set. Of course, we can click here on the settings icon and then also include many more columns if necessary. Or we can also download the data of this table here to Excel. Two more important things. Over here, there is this downwards pointing arrow and there are different views already defined by SAP. So despite the standard view, we have the actual cash flow view. Let's click on this one. Here you can see all the filters changed. Quite importantly is this certainty level, which is now being displayed. So the certainty level is an attribute suggesting the likelihood of a forecasted cash flow becoming an actual cash flow, where each of those certainty levels you can see over here represents the business transaction data from our source application. If we now hit on go, then the system displays our actual cash flow and we can use this report now to check the forecasted cash positions and we can drill down again if needed. Then, despite the actual cash flow, we also have the cash position view. Hit on go. So now again, the filters changed. You can see here more certainty levels were selected and we can use this report now to check the forecasted cash positions. Last but not least, there's one filter called liquidity forecast. Hit on go where we can now check the liquidity trend for the upcoming days. Okay, this marks the end of the video. I hope you liked it. If so, then please subscribe to the channel and activate the bell. Also make sure to subscribe to my Patreon, where we have a community chat and where I post lots of informative documents about SAP. The link is in the bio of my channel. Thanks a lot and see you next time.